टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एमसीक्यू फॉर बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पार्ट सिक्स फ्रॉम स्टीम बॉयलर्स सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच वन इज द एसेसरी ऑफ द बॉयलर ऑप्शन स्टीम इंजेक्टर फ्यूजिबल प्लग प्रेशर गेज ब्लो ऑफ कोक सो लेट मी शो यू वन फिगर फॉर द बॉयलर माउंटिंग्स एंड बॉयलर एसेसरीज so here you can see the question is from the accessory of the boiler so these are the seven different accessories for the boiler so here you can see the second number is the injector so a is the right answer next which one is the water tube boiler option cochran boiler lancashire boiler locomotive boiler backcock wilcox boiler the answer is backcock wilcox boiler so let me show you the figure of backcock wilcox boiler and here you can see these are the tubes if the water is inside the tube then it is called as water tube boiler so here you can see in the backcock wilcox boiler the water is inside the tubes so it is known as water tube boiler so d is the right answer next a device which is used for pumping water into the boiler is called option economizer feed pump injector air preheater so let me show you one figure here these are the different accessories and in these accessories the function of feed pump is to deliver the pressurized feed water to the boiler so here the question is about the same pumping of water into the boiler so we can say feed pump is the right answer next Which one is externally fired boiler? Option: Backcock Wilcox, Lancashire, Cochran. None of these. So answer is Backcock Wilcox boiler. So let me show you the figure of Backcock Wilcox boiler. And here you can see this is the furnace, and that is outside of this boiler shell, and that's why it is called as externally fired boiler. So A is the right answer. Next, dash boiler is not a fire tube boiler. Option. Cochran boiler, Lancashire boiler, Backcock Wilcox boiler, locomotive boiler. So let me show you the figure of the Backcock Wilcox boiler. And as we have discussed earlier, the water is inside these tubes, and that's why it is known as the water tube boiler. So out of these, only the Backcock Wilcox is the water tube boiler, and that's why we can say it is not the fire tube boiler. So C is the right answer. Next. Air preheater receives heat from option from steam from separate furnace from flue gas from feed water. So let me show you the important figure for the accessories where you can see the function of air preheater to increase the temperature of air before it enters into the furnace by using waste heat from exhaust gases. So here we can say. from flue gas is the right answer next which of the following is boiler mounting option superheater air preheater economizer blow off cock so consider this figure for the boiler mountings and boiler accessories and the question is about boiler mountings so here you can see superheater that is a boiler accessories air preheater that is also in the category of boiler accessories economizer that is also in the category of boiler accessories blow off cock that is in the category of boiler mountings so d is the right answer next which of the followings is boiler mounting option superheater air preheater fusible plug economizer so once again consider the list of boiler mountings and boiler accessories and the question is about boiler mountings fusible plug that is boiler mountings so c is the right answer next which one of the following is vertical boiler option backcock wilcox cochran cornish locomotive so here check it one by one all the boilers so let me show you first the backcock wilcox boiler and here you can see the boiler shell is in horizontal position that means it is called as the horizontal boiler so it is not called as a vertical boiler now check the next one cochran boiler 
here you can see the boiler shell that is in vertical position and so that it is known as vertical boiler also. So Quachran is the right answer. Although we will check remaining two also. So now turn for the Cornish. So consider the Cornish boiler and here you can see this is a boiler shell which is in horizontal position and so that it is called as the horizontal boiler. Now consider the last one locomotive boiler. Here also the boiler shell is in horizontal position. So it is also called as a horizontal boiler. Now next. Lancashire boilers are option externally fired boiler, internally fired boiler, both A and B, none of the above. So let me show you the figure of the Lancashire boiler. And here you can see this is the boiler shell in which the furnace is there and so that it is called as the internally fired boiler. So B is the right answer. Next, Cochran boiler is option fire tube boiler, water tube boiler, single tube boiler, high pressure boiler. So let me show you the figure of Cochran boiler and here you can see these are the number of tubes in which the flue gases is passing and so that this is called as the fire tube boiler. So A is the right answer. If you want to see in detail about the Cochran boiler, then you can refer my video of Cochran boiler where I have discussed each and every parameters, function of the boiler mountings and accessories and working principle also. Next, the function of steam stop valve is options are as follows. Now let me show you one important list of the boiler mountings and their functions. The function of steam stop valve. So here you can see the steam stop valve and function is to stop or allow the flow of steam from boiler. That means regulate the flow of the steam from the boiler. So A is the right answer. Next, the correct location of economizer is option between furnace and air preheater, between air preheater and chimney, between four strap fan and furnace, near to superheater. So let me show you one figure. And this is very important figure to understand the location of the different parts in the power plant. Here the question is about the economizer. And here you can see this economizer that is in between boiler and air preheater. So we can say the economizer is in between furnace and air preheater. So here A is the right answer. Next, a boiler in which water and steam flow takes place due to density difference is called option fire tube boiler, water tube boiler, natural circulation boiler, pore circulation boiler. So basically the boiler is classified according to the method of water circulation in two category, pore circulation boiler, natural circulation boiler. If the circulation of water is done by pump, that means by the external force, then it is known as pore circulation boiler. If the circulation of water is done by density difference, it is known as natural circulation boiler. And the example of the natural circulation boiler is the Quachran boiler. So here the question is about due to the density difference, so C is the right answer. Next, a mounting which controls supply of water to the boiler and prevent the backflow of water from the boiler. Option, feed water heater, blow of coke, feed check valve, safety valve. So let me show you the list of the boiler mountings and their functions. The question is about a mounting which controls supply of water to the boiler. So here you can see the function of the feed check valve is to feed the water in the boiler. So C is the right answer. Next, the function of economizer is option to heat flue gases, to heat air going to furnace, to heat fuel going to boiler, to heat feed water. So let me show you different accessories with its location and function. Question is about economizer. So here you can see the function of economizer to increase the temperature of feed water. So D is the right answer. Next, air preheater of a boiler plant is located 
option between furnace and economizer, between economizer and chimney, between four snap fan and furnace near to superheater. So once again consider the very important figure to understand the location of the different parts in the thermal power plant. The question is about air preheater. So air preheater is over here and that is in between economizer and chimney. So B is the right answer. So keep watching. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.